What's wrong? <sighs> Nothing, love. Happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. Yeah. I hope you like it, then. I'm saving my presents for the party. I am getting a party, aren't I? <laughs> of course you are, son. Oh, and uh, meanwhile, uh, your dad's taking you out for breakfast. Am I? Yeah, special treat. Can we go to the burger place on the way to school? Burgers for breakfast? Oh, no, he likes um, sausage and egg muff things. Come on, then, son. Right. Yeah, yeah, have fun. It's all right. You should tell him. No point in spoiling his birthday. Yeah, besides, yeah, OK, and he's as strong as an ox. Once he's had that operation, he's going to be right as rain. Where did Vanessa find him? In the water, love, like we told you. So not where Gemma? No, no, no one here, though, love. You know, what gets me the most is that if I was going to stray, then Robert Sugden is way down my list. You've got a list? Kate is lucky that I don't sue her for defamation. Listen, she said sorry and she bought you those. Oh, what? The cheapest box in the shop? Excuse me, you've got some explaining to do. Now, listen, it's all lies, right? You must know that. Not you, him, filling my son's head with all sorts of ridiculous ideas. Me? He's got himself a tattoo. Well, I didn't encourage him. Yes, you did. Walking around like a one-man David Beckham Appreciation Society. All right. Well, young boys are impressionable, I suppose. He thinks if it's all right for you to deface your body, so can he. Well, he can't because he's only 14. He's far too young to make choices that can't be undone. That's exactly what you're going to tell him. <laughs> Shouldn't that be your job? Well, he doesn't listen to anything I say. Whereas you, clearly the sun shines every time you bend over. You started this so you can sort it out. What? Nothing. I, I just think that Lachlan's got a little man crush on you, that's all. Don't be daft. Really? <laughs> Don't know what our problem is. I'm not getting involved, I told you. You are right? Go on, open up this way. Don't get any ideas. I'm temporary. Okay. She's scared because I've got a man in my hand. No, she's worried because you keep acting like an idiot. Oh, yeah, like she's perfect. It's my body. Look, just, it's not me you need to convince, all right? Oh, no, Alicia, with you. What? What? Well, drones are being wagging. I'm only teasing. Look, can you just get me an Americano, please? Sorry, two ticks. Oi, how's Kane? I don't know. Well, free for lunch if you uh, want a distraction. My uncle's at death's door. Maybe not today, yeah? Anything? The neurosurgeon's doing a round. Should be with us soon. Has he signed the consent form yet? Guys, <sighs> you better get off. Kane doesn't need loads of people crowding around him. You're gonna be okay? It's OK as I can be. OK. Well, let me know as soon as you hear anything, all right? You can see him now. You go. Oh, come on, Moira. You need to talk to him. Until he signs those forms, I've got nothing to say. Come in. No, I better keep uh, Uncle Zach and Chaz informed. Right. Why are you still here? Be honest. Even if I had told you, what difference would it have made? Then we stop picking up. Probably just busy with Kane. Yeah. You all right? You got anything from the hospital? No, nope. I'm just here for my magazine. Hey? Eh? Uh, it's the New Yorker. Alicia said you get you to order it. Yeah, um. <laughs> Have you forgotten it? It's no big deal. Oh, great. 
Not only am I stuck in the back of beyond, but now I'm being denied intellectual stimulation because his gormless missus can't remember the tiniest little thing. Uh, what did you call me? What was that about? No idea. I'm gonna kick his backside. Oh, darn. He was obviously upset about something. Oh, he's upset. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I'll have a word, yeah? Thanks for defending me, David. Mm. Hey, how's he doing? He's still not decided on the op. The mum's beside herself. He'll come round to the idea. Yes, too. Yeah, you're right. On the plus side, though, I've managed to cancel their holiday without a charge. And uh, James and Pete have offered to cover my work for today, so... Uh, yesterday we agreed we were going to take things slow, and today you're already trying to get into my knickers. Yeah, no, I just can't resist you, though. Rules are rules. Unless you're interested in peeling potatoes, <laughs> I want you out of my kitchen. <laughs> I forgot how bossy you could be. Well, I'll soon remind you. How's he doing? Debs is with him. Shouldn't you be there in all? They've had a Barney. He needs your love. Yeah, and he'll get me as soon as he stops being so stubborn. Has he still not signed them forms? Maybe you should have a word, Dad. No, oh, I'm the last person he wants to see. Why? Why? Uh, have you tried so much to eat? We had a bit of toast earlier. I'll go and try and find some sandwiches. Sam, go and help your dad. What? Oh. Why aren't you with him? Not my place. Not his wife. You could try and be a bit more supportive. I've been nothing but supportive. Not that she appreciates it. Well, at least I now know what you and Kay are up to. What? Well, the other day. I thought you might be trying to muscle in again. Why would you think but that? But it turns out you were just trying to make him see sense. Thank you. Well, it didn't do any good, did it? And what clout have I got? <sighs> Come and have a coffee. Hiya. How are you feeling? I'll be a lot better when I'm out of this place. Not unless you have the operation, you won't. And you are? Uh, I'm Debbie's daughter. Marcia Hacker. What can you tell us? Your father's very lucky to be alive. If someone hadn't been there to fish you out that water and resuscitate you... Yeah, well, they were, so I jobbed off. You need to appreciate how serious this is. How long have you been having these blackouts? Couple of weeks. Okay, I'm assuming I can double that. So a month then? Probably longer. <sighs> you suffered a severe brain injury. Years ago. You were supposed to report back for regular checkups. Was he? After looking at your MRI scan, I'm surprised your aneurysm hasn't already ruptured. You don't even feel that bad. You could hemorrhage at any moment. How many more times have I got to tell him? He's having it done. Definitely. He's not having it done. Just leave it with me, yeah? We need to operate as soon as possible. You need to sign those forms. You're breaking Moira's heart, Dad. Listen to me. I cannot lose you. All right, I'll be there in a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I need to go to the cash and carry. And Charles needs to be with a brother who might die. All right. Are you, you naughty boy? Am I? Yeah, your mum told us about your tattoo. Have you got a mind your own? No, I wasn't copying. Been wanting one for ages. All right, well, uh, let's have a look, then. <sighs> See? Completely different. Anyway, look, I'm going to have to go because she's going to kick off. Uh, she's going to kick off? I'm going to have to shut the shop. I'm looking for a job. Um, aren't you supposed to be at school? I can work evenings, weekends, holidays. Uh, I'm not sure your mum's going to go for it. So she says, yeah, she'll agree. Well... Great. Um... I think you just solved your staffing problems there, love. Oh, come on, you've got your own little mini-me. 
Mm. You love it, really. Mm. See you in a bit. Debs, what is it? It's just, it's not budging. <sighs> what is wrong with that man? Can you not see what he's doing? All right, because tears are really going to solve the problem. Right, come on, you, before you start everyone off. Oh, God. Oh. You all right, Dad? Why don't you go home, Sam? Plan the party. Well, I want to see Kate. It's your little boy's birthday. He's your priority. We'll give Kane your love. <sighs> right. I'll make sure you do. Ta-ra. You can't blame yourself, Pat. Well, if it's down to anyone, it's me, isn't it? I shouldn't have let him kick me out. I should have forced him to have the operation. Well, I won't argue with that. Look, no one's pointing any fingers. It's not what Kane would want. No, I suppose not. As far as I'm concerned, everything you've done to help my boy, well, you more than redeem yourself. Yeah. Thanks for looking up, but Dad. What was I supposed to do? The most important thing is, he's in the right place to get better. Mm, well, only if he wants to. Mrs. Dingle? Myra? He wants to see you. No, he can whistle. He knows my terms. Exactly! Get in there. Oh, right. You win. It's not about the winning. It's about doing what I can for the man I love. Thanks. What have I done now? Look, why do you think everything's about you? Finn is not happy. Yeah, like that's breaking news. So you boys are going to take him on the town tomorrow. Well, that's your job. He's still listening to me. Finn needs to know he's still got a family who cares about him. And I need to know that when push comes to shove, my boys will look out for each other, all right? OK. This is a one-off. Good luck. Makes him think he can still push us about. To be fair, he is lying. Finn needs help taking his mind off more. Why? He's dropped it. Job's done as far as you're concerned. All heart. Hey, I'm not soft enough to let her get to me. Thank you. What if it goes wrong? And I'm still alive, but... Look up. Well, where? I love you. I don't care if I have to spend the rest of my life pushing you around in a wheelchair. I do. It was something Cameron once said. What, that nutter? When I was on my crutches. Not much of a man anymore, I grandad. He was right, I was pathetic. Yeah, but you didn't give up. But the effort it took. Just to be something of what I was. Again, you were ten times the man you used to be. And that thug who tried to destroy my marriage, that's not the man I fell in love with. He changed. And you're bare for it. Look where it's got me, eh? Yeah. Surrounded by people who love you, that's where. Me, Debbie, Chaz. You've got your family sitting out in that corridor waiting to see you. How do you think they'd have felt if you'd have just given up? Right, okay. It's the last time you bossed me about. 
Behave. I am going to be doing your head in until you are old and on a mobility scooter. You might have to wait until I'm old. Got them fish and chips? Yeah, just wear on the mushy peas, love. I do. What? I didn't want to get grease on my clothes. You just don't give up, do you? I get it. You want to take it slowly, and I respect that. Um, <laughs> uh, you've been working out? Yeah, well, what else is there to do in prison? Whoa, whoa, don't start something unless you're prepared to finish it. You started this. Mm. Whatever happened to your principles? What happened to your childhood? Mm. Like you at school? I didn't have any lunch money. Oh. Hey, good news. Ken's going to have the op. Well, it's not all good, I mean, it could go wrong, but we're all keeping happy for Samson. I'm going to try baking him a cake. You can help me if you're bunking off. Well, I'm not. Eh? As long as you're not going funny again. I'm going to be late for maths. Yeah, well, keep your phone on. If air out, else I'll let you know. What? About Kane. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Victoria! Vic! Stop doing fish and chips! Well, that was embarrassing. Yeah, but it means she won't be coming back. Uh, my sister around. She's busy. Well, just go through then, shall I? No, 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 it's probably not a good idea. All right, I'll, I'll just have a pint then. Same again? No. I need to talk to you. Vic told me about the new business plan. Yeah, some other time. No, you can't go back there! No! It's my stepmom's pub, I'll do what I like. I am serving him. Well, he's got something to say. I'm sorry. I'm just having a bad day. Oh, have a pint for pity's sake. Listen, you better be in a brighter mood tomorrow. Then he must have taken you on a pub crawl. You two can't spend the night together. It'd be a bloodbath. Yeah, well, that's a risk we're prepared to take. You just can't mope about the house. Do you want a bet? You're lucky that you've got your brothers looking out for you, you ungrateful little so-and-so. Fine. Whatever. Let's come on, then. Pay the nice lady. Do one. Don't be like that. Come on, is there any news about him? Kane? What's it to you? I know what it's like to lose someone you care about. <sighs> so now you think he's gonna die? No. Chrissy's aunt had an aneurysm. They stuck a tube up a vein in her groin and she was right as rain. Seriously, that's what they do. It's easy for us blokes, cos uh, brains are in her pants. Less far to travel. She's definitely all right, though, yeah, this Anne. <laughs> Had her 65th birthday last year. She went abseiling. Stop thinking the worst about it. Yeah, no, I know. I just, I just can't. What? You know, if he... He'll break my mum's heart. Hey, come here. Come here. Finally signed them. Huh. Great to see you in our office. <laughs> They're operating tomorrow. Dad, it's all right. Thanks. <laughs> Look, um, you know, I appreciate you all being here, but. You'd rather we did one. Well. There's not much to see, is there? Right, well, we'll leave you with Moira. See you tomorrow. Of course. Hi. Behave yourself. You better get through this. I'll do my best. I mean it. I can't cope without you. <sighs> you two falling out again. Oh, we're never going to be best mates, me and your ex. Well, she's family. 
Plus, she's Debbie's mom. I know, I know, you're right. I just don't... I just don't get why you confided in her. To do it on purpose. I knew something was wrong. You're getting all moody and bad-tempered. More than usual. Should have pushed you on it, spotted it. You know, the next time I am going to be all over you like a rash. If there is a next time. Come on, don't say that. Well, it's true, isn't it? Right. There's another chance to see the brand new episode of Foil's War, shown last night on ITV Player when you want it. Next, will Tracy's lies catch up with her as Coronation Street? Thank you.